Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. Today we're going to be talking about VACOM. VACOM has been a really important part of my diagnostic career at the dealership over the years. Despite the fact that we have all kinds of diagnostic stuff at the dealer, um, you know, scan tools, repair manuals, all kinds of stuff, sometimes it just doesn't really get it. So about 2006 is when I picked up VACOM. Quickly learned how uh, how lacking our uh, our factory equipment was, especially at the time. It's getting better now, but um, you know back then it was it was awful. So what can we do with VACOM? Well, we can do pretty much anything we can do at the dealership level, minus programming keys and dealing with immobilizer issues, because we actually have to dial up Volkswagen to get the codes for that stuff. Now there may be workarounds, but Typically, I don't worry about it since at the dealership, we're programming keys and stuff with the factory equipment anyway. But you can reset maintenance lights. You can check check engine lights. You can check any code in any module on most Volkswagens. You can also change coding and pretty much anything in between. I actually use this all the time in the shop, and there's a couple of reasons. One, the shop only has four scan tools when all of them are working perfectly, which almost never happens. So it's a really great alternative to just be able to grab my laptop, plug it in, check a fault real quick, look at some value blocks, whatever I need to do, I pretty much do with my laptop and my VADCOM cable. Now, like a knucklehead, I didn't bring my VADCOM cable home, but I did bring my laptop, so, you know, I guess that does something for me anyway. So what are the main things that I use it for? Like I said, checking faults, resetting maintenance lights, and actually graphing out measuring value blocks. So what measuring value blocks are? It's the information that the ECM sees that we can go in and look at. I actually have a little bit of a video capture doing some of this on my car that you'll see in a minute, and we'll talk more about it then. But these fig these values that you see, we can actually create a graph for using some software in VADCOM. And it's helped me a ton. It's helped me catch little blips of failures that you would never see in a change in a number. But you know, as, as a graph line goes and you see it drop out and keep going, you notice it right away. That helped me diagnose a warranty wheel bearing on like a 14 um, Beetle one time. And uh, without that, it would have taken, you know, I probably would have just had to start swapping parts or went to all the trouble to hook up a DSO. So the graph feature on it is amazing, amazing, amazing. We can also monitor up to three measuring value block groups at a time, which was huge, especially when the dealership had the old software. We couldn't do that. We had to do one at a time. To be able to monitor 12 things versus just four was huge at the time. It also shows long coding on the newer car, so you basically just highlight boxes to turn things on and off. Quick tip, be very careful doing that because you can get yourself in a world of trouble. If you're going to be changing long coding or any coding for that matter on your car, please write it down before you touch anything. It'll save you a ton of trouble, trust me. And there's probably a ton more that VADCOM can do, both now and in the future, that I don't really mess with too much, just because generally I have the factory stuff, you know, as a backup. It's awesome, I love it. Like I said, I use it all the time. You can do way more with it now than you could back on like my generation Passat, which is what you'll see the screen capture of in just a minute. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. So here we are, the main screen of our VADCOM diagnostic software. Um, this is actually an older version, but that's okay. It, uh, the new stuff really just is really just better. Um, you can see we have our OBD functions, our applications, program options, service indicator, reset, auto scan and control module is probably the one you're going to use the most. Auto scan is perfect for the CAN networked vehicles where you can pull up the whole gateway install list and look at all your faults at one time, which is super helpful. Um, control modules is where I spend most of my time because my car is not a CAN network with a gateway like the new stuff is. I gotta say, for 350 bucks, this is a slam dunk, no doubt, must buy if you're doing any kind of Volkswagen diagnostic or, you know, you want to modify a few things in your car. Again, if you're changing coding, be sure to write down the original coding before you do anything. Let's take a look at the control modules. We're going to go into engine and actually see what faults were stored on my Passat when the check engine light came on. Uh, I'll be honest, I did not expect 7 to be stored. Uh, we have two fuel trim faults. We have a slew of misfires as well as an EVAP system fault. The EVAP system is something I'm not going to worry about whatsoever because actually any of these faults can cause a misfire, or uh, excuse me, a, an EVAP system issue. Um, the vehicle's running okay now, so we're not going to worry too much about the misfires either. We're going to focus on these two system lean faults. You can see it says P1136, system 2 lean intermittent as well as P0171, System 2 Lean Intermittent. That's why you can't just go by the P code because that could be two separate things with system stored or with fault stored at a different time. But uh, 
we got to do a little diagnosis to figure out what's going on. These are those 12 fields that I was talking about where you can look at multiple things at once compared to the factory scan tool, which you used to only be able to look at four at a time. Again, back home you can look at 12, which is super helpful. This is also about a billion times faster than the factory stuff. Even now when I can look at more than four fields in a factory scan tool, it's so much faster than, uh, than the factory stuff. Here's our misfire counters, which is really helpful to be able to look at misfires as well as monitor RPM, coolant temp, fuel trim, any of that stuff. So it's cool to be able to pull it all up at once. I gotta say, for 350 bucks, this is absolutely, again, a must buy. I highly recommend it. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with VAGCOM that on the new cars that you can't do on this generation vehicle, so it's even more important for that. They also have an incredibly good uh, wiki page that I'll put a link to as well with tons and tons and tons of diagnostic information. You can do so much just based on what the information they give you on the wiki page. So check them out. Again, highly recommend, must buy, use it at the dealership all the time. If you're a dealer tech, it's a great alternative to the factory scan tool. If you don't have access to factory equipment, this is absolutely the next best thing. So yeah, I do highly, highly, highly recommend them. Uh, I'd like to thank them for all their hard work and uh, dedication to what they do. They've bailed me out more times than they know. So uh, keep on rocking, guys. I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down in the comments section below. Shout out to the folks at VAGCOM. Keep making awesome stuff. Thank you, guys. You really help out both the... Uh, the aftermarket and the uh, the dealership level guys so i really appreciate all you do hey if you like the video throw it a thumbs up on youtube also subscribe on youtube or on the blog over at humblemechanic.com you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram the blog humblemechanic.com and obviously on youtube don't forget i'll put links to ross tech and all their cool stuff in the show notes so check them out all right guys thanks for watching and i will see you next time